Hello and welcome back to Foxyard. Today we're going to be building the London and Northeast Railway or LNER J70 and this is otherwise known as Toby from Dawn's of Friends. His real life basis is this J70 steam tram and there was I believe there's only like 12 of them built and before they're also known as the GER which is the Great Eastern Railway uh, class C53. Now this is actually uh, 1.8 to 1 scale while the previous version of this, this is 1.5 to 1 scale, but you know, British trains, they have a smaller loading gauge, so their engine's a lot smaller than, I guess, Americans like the rest of the world, so I decided to go 1.8 to 1 scale like I did my um, other train tutorials, like the Class 37, so yeah, here is what it looks like. There's a lot more detail in this uh, if you're not building just to 1.5 to 1 scale, because you can actually fit in uh, this middle section. And there is a little bit of an interior, you know, you got some gauges here, this little engine inside, which I didn't really know what Toby looked like inside till looking at this. And uh, here's what it looks like on the roof, you got a bell there. And then these two stacks, I never realized that, but yeah, there's like these two stacks, one on each end. And here's the side, got some windows right there, and here is the back. And um, yeah, this is just like a lamp. Can put on these like hooks right there and then you can compare it with the 1.5 to 1 scale you know four blocks wide um, no middle section um, I do like how it's uh, small and simple but you know it can't really add that much detail as this one and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoy the build I don't know who's actually gonna build this but I just wanted to get this out of the way since I've seen this in my yard and I thought it would be really easy to um make an updated version of it. But yeah, let's get started by grabbing some materials. I'll take out a polished black stone, brick stairs, wall, slab, a gray concrete, dark oak, trap door, nether brick, fence, um, black stone button. So first off in the front, we'll make the cow catcher. So that's gonna be five blocks wide, polished black stone, brick stairs. That, and then, um. In the middle here, we'll add another brick fence like that. And then polished black stone brick walls on the sides. A dark oak a trap door, we're gonna close that up on both sides like this. Then we'll add in the side of this, we'll add in two blocks tall, gray concrete on either side. Make it go all the way across the middle, just like that. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick stairs, it's gonna be facing towards the edge. And then right side up facing outwards. Then a, then a polished black stone brick slab right on top. Then we'll add in this oak slab, gonna be right next to each of these, and a polished black stone brick slab there in the middle. Then we'll add in a uh, gray concrete. We're gonna make it a two by three, so two blocks tall, three blocks long. Add one here in the middle, and then oak slab on top, gray concrete right behind it. The other side, we can do the same exact thing. Oak slab, gray concrete. All right. So then we'll add in um, black stone bun right here on the side, both sides. And then a polished black stone brick slab, just uh, four blocks long, alongside the middle. Then we'll add two blocks tall, black concrete in the middle. Go all the way to this end here. And a black stone bun in the front. Then we'll add in this uh, spruce slab. It's going to be an upper slab, five blocks across. And uh, we'll add in spruce planks on top, five blocks across. And spruce slabs on the edges. And then a two by three spruce planks here in the middle. And then another three blocks wide spruce slabs at the top. Then we'll add in uh, the window here. It's going to be a light gray glass block. Right there and then a spruce trap door on top and also two of these spruce trap doors on the sides we'll close them both up and this is just to close off this little hole here then we'll add in three blocks wide of this spruce signs like this cross then we'll add in this spruce uh, button right here on the sides and a flower pot on top of it or both sides like that. 
Then we'll add in the middle. It's going to be a brown glass pane and then a spruce trap door on either side. Close them both up. And then we'll add in a polished blackstone buttons right alongside the middle down there. And to the side of this, we'll add in uh, spruce planks, just uh, two blocks tall. We can go all the way across to the side, to the back. And then in the back section, we'll add in another two planks tall like that. Side, same thing. And then a uh, spruce slab there with a light gray glass inside of it. And then another one on top of the slab. And then a two by two spruce planks on either side. Next, we'll add in iron trap doors. This is going to go all the way across the edges of the roof to the back. Other side, pretty much the same thing. Just like that. And then on the inside of this, we'll add in dark oak um, fence gates. And then I'm going to open it up towards the outside and go do this on both sides. Um, just like that. And I made a little mistake here. These bottom planks here are supposed to be upper slabs like that. So just replace them just so that we got that extra gray at the bottom. So after we're done with that, we'll copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. So this is the midpoint and everything after is just repeating just the same way as the other side. All right, so once we've built the other side, it should look like this, still symmetrical. Now on this side, we'll add in a spruce fence at the top right there. The other side will add in a diorite wall for the lamp. Then we'll add in a birch bun right there, this bottom corner here, towards this end. And then the inside, we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here, skip block, add another one. And add in black concrete in between and after it here. Then a polished black stone brick wall, that's going to be three blocks tall like that. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here. And then we're going to add another wall down here and then a slot there. And uh, wither skeleton skull right on top of this wall. Then we'll take out a stone brick slab and we're going to make, you know, three by three square around it like that. And then over here in the front, we'll add in a two by three stone brick slabs. And then we'll add in polished black stone brick walls right on top here. Just going to be two blocks tall like so. And then we're going to add in stone brick slabs, just going to go all the way across the side here. And then we'll add in a polished black stone brick slab here. And then this deep slate brick stairs. And we're going to add two of them on diagonal so that it looks like it's connected. And then we'll add in stone brick slab here, two blocks long. Another stone brick slab here. And then a bell, this is going to be right there. And actually to place it, we'll need a block down there. So let's take a spruce uh, trap door and we'll go down underneath here. And actually you can fill in the whole uh, roof of this if you do want to. Could all the way across, just whatever section is exposed. We can make it all brown because in real life, uh, the ceiling is just brown. Colored, so we're just filling them on like that and then we can add in the bell right in that hole there all right so then we'll add in a little bit of an interior here so that's going to be uh, these uh, two birch buns and it's going to be right here in this top corner and then a dark oak trapdoor and close that right there and the other side we're going to do Similar thing right here, just a trap door here, close it up. And then add two birch buttons at the top. And we're also going to add a dark oak button right above that trap door. And uh, same thing on the other side right there. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the LNER J70, aka Real Life Toby in Minecraft. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. See you guys in the next one. Bye.